This is the Continuum Cortex? It's the best way to reach Nova ship before moves again. You found Corel. Where is she? Nova ship currently in the Lydra system, orbiting Michael planet. Contraxia? Cosmo not surprised. Pesky raccoon enjoy garbage planet. Their restrooms do provide valuable information. Entire planet now broadcasts same signal as Nova Rock. Cosmo not understand purpose or intention. All them bars and betting parlors and brothels. Maybe it's not such a bad thing after all. Cosmo Bind. We can find Corel and save Contraxia. Maybe we shouldn't make too many guarantees. We're the guardians of the galaxy. This is what we do. I am with you, Peter Quill. You are? Of course. That was a rousing speech. Bootlicker. How many people know about this place? Enough. It's not broadcast across galaxy. But scientists come from many backgrounds. If Thanos had known this was here... So, what is this? Like another elevator? Oh, no. They'll figure it out. Please to stand back, Guardian of Galaxies. Whoa! What magnificent witchcraft is this? <laughs> I know! It's like they've never seen a giant transdimensional hand before. Please to step in ball. What if things go sideways? How do we get back? With passport. Can communicate with Cosmo, and if emergency, bring Guardian of Galaxies back. I would. Better you take it than Captain Valor over here. His time. Investigate Nova ship. Use passport to report findings. And you'll speak to the world mind? Get rid of that fine, right? Cosmo do best. Good luck, Guardian of Galaxies. Anyone see any seatbelts? You better not throw up this time. Sorcery? I was going to say dizzying. Or group. You get used to it. Are we in space? We're somewhere between space, between dimensions, between time, between realities even. What do you mean, between? We could theoretically go wherever and whenever with this thing. Even the places that don't exist, but uh, do. It's incredible. Avengers! Assemble! What kind of name is Avengers? Is that sound normal? <laughs> normal? You ain't heard nothing yet. Oh, Pat Benatar and Joan Jett watch over us. Who are these gods you speak of? Goddesses. <laughs> uh, Drax? <laughs> I am not the one laughing. It's obviously an ill omen of our impending deaths. No matter where you hide. I will find you. Or it's an alternate reality. <laughs> I know the sound. I am proud. Definitely an alternate reality. <laughs> hey, look! It's Spider Man! Wait, is that Earth? Mom? Come on, you're dating for the promise here. Come on in, Janie. Peter will be up in a second. Really? Janie? Okay. Next stop, Alice Hope. Probably. Oh. <gasps> Clark and Hope! Okay, here we go! Whoa! Oh, Clark! Correct. You guys okay? Do we look okay? Well, hang in there. I'll try to restore gravity. Oh, great. We're gonna be stuck like this forever. Rocket, buddy, what am I looking for? Drax, tell Scut Lord most ships use external power conduits to generate pseudo gravity in hyperbaric airlocks. The beast says to find a power conduit. Right, and what do those look like? Tell him any vestiges of power should show up on his visor. And to stop asking so many Plarkin questions and get us down from here. Something terrible happened here. What gave it away? The lack of gravity or the general destruction? Both are undeniable clues. I'm not seeing anything useful. Somebody tell him I ain't gonna do all this work for him. Use your visor, Peter. 
Okay, I've got two conduits here. Someone tell them to turn them on. Nothing's happening. Gamora, tell him to check the power supply. It's empty. Then tell him to find a battery. Did you catch that? Yeah, yeah. The go to danger mission. Cosmo fix. Not to worry. <laughs> Ah, an accurate impersonation. I am impressed. The mutt's playing us for patsies. Uh, someone tell him what he's looking for. Peter Quill, you are supposed to be looking for... something. A battery! So we can get the lousy gravity going. You should wait. Storm drain by the battery yet? We're still floating, so no. Dog mentioned an odd transmission, but I do not hear anything. Could be on a higher frequency, one only mutts can hear. Peter, we need a battery to restore the gravity. Nope, useless. Rocket, what were you two doing in the cortex? Coming back from a job. A successful one. Why come back to nowhere at all? I mean, if you really wanted to quit. The, uh, the, the client was there. Me and Groot had to get paid. Maybe the transmission stopped when the power went out. Dog report item. No auditory evidence of transmission. That's no help. How'd you end up getting arrested, Rocket? Might be just what we need. Then pick it up already. All right, I'll have you guys on solid ground in a tick. Okay, got us a battery. Took him long enough. Hey, I'm trying, man. And we're still floating around. Anything. Okay, I got the battery installed, Gamora, but nothing's happening. Seriously? Uh, fine, I'll tell them. Listen up, slug breath. Tell me what you see. Uh, there's a blue wire and two connections, yellow and red. And one big green thing. Don't touch the green thing! Not a great time to start yelling, dude! Okay. Okay. First, plug the wire to either connection. All we need is a little jump start. To either one? It's not brain surgery. Just pick one. I have begun to enjoy this. Uh, here goes nothing! Oh, crap! Was not restored. You had one job. Well, I did exactly what. Close your eyes for a 